YouTube. What's up? It's Alejandro Martinez. I'm back with another video and I'm just here to show you my at-home studio, the equipment I use to do successful screen printing here in my own home. So I just want to help you guys out and assist with maybe questions or concerns or prices, whatever it is you guys need to be able to do successful screen printing at home. Let's do it. So first things first, which screen printing setup are you wanting to use? There are multiple different kinds. There are from beginner stages to me mediocre, and then you could go all the way to automatic screen printing. For at home, obviously, you don't want to have to use a compressor for an automatic, so it's a lot easier to use a manual screen printing machine. This one specifically is a six color. Six color meaning there's six heads. Each head can be a different color, different design, whatever, whatever you need. This is a four station, six color, four station, four station meaning that there's four platens. Platens are what you use to place your t-shirts on. There's different kinds. These are just, uh, you know, ones that came with the machine. This one is actually a sleeve. Um, that I actually put a, uh, I like to do my labels here or like tags or whatever is smallest. But again, this is a, uh, this one would be for sleeves. I can kind of show it to you. Yeah, so I have, this is an extra piece and then I have it attached to a sleeve to be able to just to throw on, do tags and squeeze you that. So with your screen printing, you're always going to need heat. This is what is called a flash dryer. It you know, can swing around, it can move it around. This is what you typically use in between um, hits. So you know, if you have a base coat, you're going to hit that base and then hit it with the flash dryer. Flash dryer isn't made to cure the ink all the way. It's to temporarily cure that ink so you could move on with other colors over overlaying the last color. So a flash dryer, if you're a beginner, this is definitely something that you would want to have. Um, I see people using heat guns, which is okay too. It's just a very time consuming thing to be able to sit there and heat the shirt and not really knowing what temperature is pushing out. You want the hit ink to cure at a certain temperature so a flash dryer I feel would be one of the biggest necessities if you want to begin screen printing um, it's not the most costly thing to have so I would definitely recommend getting a flash dryer so right here guys would be my conveyor dryer um, you know it's it's a typical dryer you just turn it on and it'll start moving you could have a adjust the speed um, you, whenever you're using you also kind of want to have like a laser temperature marker to be able to know where exactly is um, how hot this is getting how hot your flash dryer is getting again whatever type of ink you're going to want to use it is going to have to be at a certain temperature and be cured for a certain time. Hence the reason why it's a conveyor dryer. It's gonna go through at a specific s speed, curing that temperature the entire way through. Now, between this and your screen printing station, it is gonna be the most costly. And I'm going to show you the pricing at the end of this video. So now I'd like to sit and show you guys the pricing on this equipment and how much you could expect to pay to be able to get a business up and running. <clears throat> so first would be the flash dryer. Like I said, this is probably the cheapest piece of equipment I have. For the one that I have, it's about $500. But you can find plenty out there that are, you know, a lot cheaper, around $200. I wouldn't really want to spend much less again you can use a heat gun i've never tried that so i couldn't give you any advice on that um my conveyor dryer 
is made by Logos. Uh, it's actually about, if you add taxes, it's very close to $3,000. I know that seems like a lot of money for something that just heats it up and rolls it through the machine, but to be a really successful screen printer, I believe that this is the piece that you need the most. If you, you can buy you know any press, a one color press, you know, you could do one color shirts, but if you're not carrying the ink good enough, then it's gonna crack early, it could literally just fall off. The number one thing in screen printing is making sure that that customer receives a shirt that has cured ink that is gonna last them that shirt's entire life. So that given, I would say focus on trying to acquire a conveyor dryer more than anything. But for my Riley Hopkins uh, six color four station, I'm looking at um, their newest model. It's it's the exact same thing. It's just I have an older model. Um, so for that, it's priced at six thousand five hundred. Um, you know this. A lot of this equipment is very pricey. Uh, it does take a punch out of your pocket. So before you come into this, you know, definitely think about it. How hard, how bad do you want to be doing this? To what level? There's obviously a lot of cheaper equipment, but you know, cheaper equipment comes with quality. So. You know you want to pay for your quality and if you can afford it I would definitely suggest you know buying something very similar similar to my setup I actually was able to buy all of my equipment through Facebook marketplace which was very inexpensive to com to compare to what you could actually end up paying so like the stuff that I'm showing you right now it adds up close to ten ten thousand dollars um i actually paid about thirty two hundred for all the equipment it was kind of tough like having to move it myself and whatnot but uh you can sometimes find the equipment on you know online or on marketplaces for cheaper but you just want to have a full understanding of that piece of equipment before you buy it you definitely want to understand know what the name is of it what the maker is because it could seem like something good but you never know there's a lot of old equipment out there that you know might not get to the temperature you need so definitely look into it if you do see a piece of equipment that you want to get study it you know learn about it make sure it's it's the right one for you um but yeah i'll I'll post links to the equipment that I currently have and I hope this helps you guys out and what you're wanting to set up at home or you know wherever it is in a garage doesn't matter I'm literally in my own bedroom and I print shirts right next to my bed <laughs> so I just hope that this inspires you guys to take it on and the number one thing too though is that this equipment typically holds its value you know like the press that I have it's an older press but at the end of the day that's to acquire something like that it is very expensive especially the conveyor dryer you know you get you get so limited on what you can find and actually purchase so when you acquire these things they do hold their value for years to come you know it, it there's never gonna be something that replaces a flash dryer or a conveyor dryer you know if your press is pretty new like mine it's it's not much that's going to change within this next five ten years so don't feel too afraid to take that plunge and to you know come out of pocket to buy something because at the end of the day you could always just sell it you know if it's something that you want to just try and experience and turn around and sell it it'll hold its value. So you should feel confident in buying these things. Just make sure it's operational. Don't let nobody fool you. 
And that's another video from your boy Alejandro. And I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.